Hi, I'm Sam from Elementary Technology and we're here in our customer experience centre in Leeds and we're going to be showing you a world's first, which is the Elmo MA1. This is a wireless Android visualiser. As you can see, this visualiser is connected direct to our display. We don't need to go through any sort of PC, laptop and we can use um, a coding app called Scottygo, which is pre-installed and it's available on iOS and the Android store as well. Um, I'm just going to show you the benefits of Scottygo. Um, it really implies the um, benefits of uh, physical to digital learning and also it really enhances collaboration in groups um, we're just going to go straight in here and have a little play first so it's very simple we can use the screen the built-in screen on the visualizer um, we don't have to go near our interactive display or PC and we can just follow the simple instructions here now as you can see on the board um, it's just a, a bit of basic coding that can really engage student delivery and, and pupil learning so if we just follow the very simple instructions where we will be using tiles and we will also be using the board and we will be using the visualizer collaboratively okay so we're just going to go onto the first level here which is going to load up just takes a few seconds excellent so we we have our first basis of um of our first quest here so to speak so we need to get from point a to point b which is the x um, and again, this can be done in groups of four. This can be done on the same board where we can move the visualizer around. It'll pick it up instead of you having to go to each individual place. Um, hence the physical and digital split, which really makes it important. So we're just going to follow the instructions. Uh, you will get your tutorial. So as you can see, we need to imply the tiles in a specific way to run through. So let's have a go. Okay, so we need a beginning, which we will have as a beginning tool here and then we need to follow it so we need to step which we can pull out from here like so and then the number of steps which is two as you can see on the screen like so and we can go end as well so that's the first level request again as you can see you can have somebody working direct underneath the visualizer and then you can have somebody working alongside it as well so it enhances the group ability so we're just going to follow it and then you can press this which which will pull up the camera and as you can see it's picked up the tiles straight away so we've got each tile here once you're happy with that and you're happy with the system it's going to use you can press record and the visualizer will scan it automatically and give you a play option so once you're happy to go ahead you can see from the screen that we did it correctly we picked the right steps we pick the right end and it does it automatically via all through the visualizer here i'm not going for any pc it's just really powerful for teachers um, i'm just going to quickly show you the next one so this is our physical bit so we can have a look here right okay so i'm just going to bring connor in here just to show you the difference between working in a group so i can look at the screen and say to connor right we have a beginning and we need to go straight on one two three four five six seven places so then connor can efficiently use the right tiles to go in which is good for communication good for collaboration and good for engaging learning so connor's done it right on there we'll just double check we'll press the follow the instructions again and as you can see straight away it's picked it up so let's see if we are right here and we will press play and as you can see scotty will go hopefully to the correct place Perfect, it's as simple as that, really easy to use, really efficient. Um, we're just gonna go onto a couple of more developed levels now as well, so you can see some turns and twists, etc. as a, as a little bit more of a, a engaging, but a bit tougher. Okay, so just gonna put this into a little bit of a lesson scenario. Um, I'm going to do one of the next tougher ones myself, um, and I'm gonna get Connor to come in um, in a minute or so to try and help me along with the puzzle. Okay, so you can see these get a little bit tougher, so we need to go through all the X's. So I've mapped out the pattern through the tiles. Let's just do the normal procedure. Again, this is done all on the visualizer. So I'll press record there. Okay, press play. So we can watch him go here. Excellent. Perfect. Right, okay. Now, ah, now this is good. I've only got two stars, which gives me instant feedback from the app, which is great. This gives me a chance to collaborate with Connor and we can discuss what better ways can we get up to three stars. So in this instance, there is a way that we can do it a lot quicker. Okay, so I'm gonna bring Connor in. We've collaborated and we've um, seen that there is a, a quicker way that we can do this. Connor's just gonna check that I've got all the steps right, so I'm gonna do it digitally and Connor's gonna do it physically. So we've got step four, 
turn right, step three, turn right, and step four. Happy with that? Yep. Perfect, okay. So hopefully now, this will get us three stars, which let's check. Yep, okay, so that's absolutely fine. And we will then play. It just shows that we can do it in a quicker route of code, which meant I had to ask Connor, get his feedback, which gives us a three star. So that's a perfect example of how I need to collaborate to work together to solve the problem solve the equation. Um, so if anybody's interested in a, a demonstration or if you would like to come see one of these, we would be happy to come to you and show you the benefits of the Elmo MA1 with Scotty Go. Um, you can go through our website at www.elementaryuk.com or we run the Visualizer Shop as well, which is www.thevisualizershop.com. You can also contact us on 0113 818 793 and we will be happy to come and show you how it can fit into your STEM curriculum. Thank you.